Close your eyes and breathe in a way that feels healthy for the body. As John Fung used to say, this is free medicine, something we all too rarely take advantage of. I'm more concerned about the medicines that cost a lot of money, but this is right here. The way you breathe is going to have a huge impact on the health of the body and, of course, on the health of the mind. But if we've got a sense of well-being now, it's a lot easier to resist the temptation to give in to lust, anger, fear, jealousy, because you've got something good right here. This is that time of year when we're concerned about infectious diseases, but we shouldn't forget that not all infectious diseases are diseases of the body. Some of them are diseases of the mind. Hang around people who tend to be angry, well, you, you're going to be more likely to be angry as well. Especially true with the, the internet and the media. They stoke a lot of people's anger just to be, get people's attention. Well, they want your attention, but do they want your, your well-being? No. So you have to take a distant attitude towards them. And of course, it's not just the internet, it's the people around you. If someone comes at you with 100% 100, 100 anger, well, you have to respond with a lot less. Try to calm things down. If you can't calm them down, at least try, try to keep yourself calm. And working with the breath is a good way of building up your resistance, because the diseases don't just come from them. Of course, we've got our germs inside as well. And when their germs meet up with ger our germs, okay, they can multiply like crazy. In other words, you can't blame anger in yourself on other people. You've got the potential right there. If you didn't have the potential, nobody could stoke it. So you've got to look inside as well for the causes of these diseases and use the meditation both in the sense of the well-being that comes from concentration and the clarity that allows you to see the mind with more discernment. Make sure that you recognize these things as diseases. They really eat into the mind and sap your strength. And figure out how to step around them so you don't pick them up and so they don't take over. This way, even though you're living in a place with a lot of infectious diseases, i.e. greed, aversion, and delusion all around you, you don't have to pick them up. We can't make the whole world sanitary, but we can keep our minds sanitary in this way. So remember that the meditation here is for your protection. Of course, when you're not carrying around all those extra germs, then you're much li less likely to affect other people, too. So this is good for the health of all concerned.